So there's a question I get asked a lot by my tribe, which is, Hima, how do you get so much done in one day? You're trading, you're teaching, you're analyzing the markets and having some semblance of a life, right? Well, if you ever wondered that about me, whether you're just meeting me or knowing me for a while, let me tell you an important technique that you can bring right to your trading, okay? So we're gonna visit my bookshelf here, zooming in, and while we'll say hi to Grogu, hi Grogu, what we're really going to do is look at this timer. So. This is a cube timer, literally shaped like a cube. And there's lots of brands out there. This one happens to be Datex, D-A-T-E-X-X. It's -X, just one that I caught on to early and dove in. So it has different times on the timer, five minute, 10 minute, 20 and 25. Now the 25 minute side works really great with a technique called Pomodoro, okay? The Pomodoro technique says that you can really get a lot more done and have a balance of like focus and rest by putting your work into 25 minute blocks and then purposely taking a five minute break in between. Now, I have a little bit of a hemifying I do to this where I don't always take the full five minute break, but here's the rule I do follow. If you do four of these Pomodoros, so 25 minutes with a five minute break four times, then you must to follow the Pomodoro technique, take an extended break. And this is where I really get up, usually leave my office, you know, unless I have a trade on or something, and dive into that kind of full rest and then come back. This is how I'm able to get what I think is a lot more done than what it seems like, you know, should be a lot of her day. So here's how you can do this for yourself, okay? You don't need a fancy cube timer. If you want one, I'll make sure that I include the link to this one or one that's currently like it available, usually in Amazon. But you can also use a timer on your computer, right? PCs, Macs, you can download or use the existing clock and just click on the timer to count down from 25 minutes. You can also use your phone. These days, cell phones all have built-in watches, clocks, timers. So if you're working on a computer and you'd rather use a separate device, then pull up the timer on your phone, set it to the 25 minutes and count down. Now that five minute break, if you do take a full five minute break, make sure that you are counting that as well so you don't get fully distracted. Here's what I do though, okay? So I have that Pomodoro that I showed you for the full 25 minutes. Then what I do is I have a separate timer that I flip for another five minutes. So this is a different brand, slightly different time increments, but here's what happens, okay? So let's just pretend this is going on. If this is the 25 minute timer and it goes off, okay? So let's say it beeps, I flip it down and I flip my five minute timer. That way I can quickly transition and know that I'm in break mode. Or if I'm really, really crunched in something and you know, we're traders, right? You might have a live trade on. At least I know that I better wrap up this trade in these next five minutes or at least be conscientious of my time and manage the trade, but just look away from the screen for just a second, you know, just kind of stretch your eyes, blink, look out the window, look at something far away to refocus. So these are my pro tips to using the Pomodoro technique in your trading. They are very valuable, not only in trading, but in study. So let's say you have your HEMA ready courses or maybe research you get from me. They're useful for kind of getting past the procrastination pause, if you will, okay? There's things out there in life that we don't feel like doing, guys. But if you set a 25 minute timer and say, hey, you know what, I'll just do it for this and then I earn my five minute break, that can help a lot. So. Consider employing the Pomodoro technique in your trading and I'll catch you next time.